was a very good night. Slept very well. And the trip so far on the, the ferry was very smooth. Very little wind, easy seas, so no problem whatsoever. Which actually is a good fortune. Because in rough seas, well, everybody gets seasick. Sunday bar. Still very nice weather. And it's now 9 o'clock and we should leave the cabin from at the 9.30, it's uh, half an hour from now, so then we can start packing up, taking up the bikes. Christiansand, Norway. Beautiful. Is it fun so far? Well, I just only did half an hour, I think, less. And uh, the traffic uh, signs everywhere around and the, for speeding are 50, 60, 70, everywhere. It's not as blue as uh, on, the, on the boat. A little bit cloudy, but the temperature is uh, nice. 19 degrees. So that's good. And at least it is dry. So then let's see how it uh, continues. fun thing is that right now this road is allowed to drive 80 kilometers an hour but I'm not doing 60, 70 and for my feeling it's fast enough because you want to look around and the only way that you can do that is if you're not driving too fast Beautiful people, beautiful, beautiful, wow. I'm climbing also, I'm going to almost a thousand meters high. And uh, I have seen this kind of stuff on uh, other YouTube videos from other bikers the last couple of months. Because of preparation for myself. So, but seeing this for real, it's astonishing, really. Wow, 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 this is beautiful. Patches of snow, 
It doesn't feel very cold, actually, so that's what is cold. How's the temperature? 70 degrees. Well, that's not cold. Wow, 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 this is astonishing. I have still 64 kilometers to go before I arrive in the Liesebotten. And the last 3-4 kilometers towards Liesebotten should be a very exciting winding, bending road with all kinds of hairpins. So I'm looking forward to that. But first, look at this. Look at this. Still climbing up. Fantastic. snow wall still even with this temperature okay nice warnings for cattle that is uh, crossing the road the reindeer or whatever it's called I don't know look at this man oh man Fantastic. What a scenery. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, sorry people, I keep saying that all the time, but it's true.
way. Right below is the parking lot for the Scherach Bolton. A rock that is stuck between two cliffs. And everybody wants to have a picture of that. The idea is that tomorrow I'm going to make that hike. And then I have to park the bike on that parking lot. Over there. But first I need to go down further. To Lisa Bottom. To the, the camping site which is uh, down below. Scherach. Okay, good. But first I have to go to Lisa Bottom. A little bit pity is that I have that van in front of me. Because everybody has saying this is very dangerous downside. So then I actually don't want to have a van in front of me. And is it dangerous? Well I don't know, we are going to see this. I've done the Stelvio eight or nine times, so I'm sort of getting used to uh, this kind of stuff. And mostly it is just fun. Uh, look at uh, the Garmin. It's winding and winding and winding. Hairpins. A lot of people are scared of those uh, those things, but <laughs> the only thing is, I have all that luggage, 50 kilograms of luggage on the bike, that makes it shifting around in the corners a little bit more difficult than I'm used to. But so far, it's a lot of fun. Dangerous my ass. If, if you have done the Dolomites on the corner towards uh, Italy, then you have this kind of stuff. Kilom kilometers after kilometers, right along. <laughs> Only thing is, you don't want to have a van or a bus or whatever in front of you or coming up. Then it will be a little bit more difficult. But if I look through the corner, I see nothing here. Yeah, 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 no, nobody, nobody, nobody. Great, 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 great. If you want to do this on the Stelvio, then you're not alone. You have all kinds of traffic around you. And this is way better. Only thing is, it is uh, far from home. You have to use a boat to get here. Really fun. Oh shit. That's pity. Way pity. Yeah, okay, that's pity. Hi, ah, if he understands it. 
Nice, 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 man, man, man. Good for you. A tunnel, yeah, I've read about it. It's a tunnel. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. And now this is difficult. Okay, 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 come on, come on. Yeah, it works out. Okay, great. Yeah, good idea. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, this is very weird because this at the end here, yeah, it's coming up already. This is a steep corner inside this tunnel. So it's quite a piece of engineering what they have done here. Yep, here it's coming up. Now, careful, careful, careful. I don't want to have something from the other side. No, nothing, nothing, nothing. It is great. Okay, tough. I think you cannot see anything on the video. It's quite dark. Ah, end of the tunnel. And there's the fjord. Go to the left. Oh, look at this, people! A lot of water is coming down. Waterfalls, left, one, two, three. Okay, 200 meters back. Okay. Ik zoek, ik zoek een camping. Yeah. Oké. Okay. Okay. 200 meters back er is een camping. A camping site. Camping resort. Camping resort, ja. Yeah. Yeah. Oké, okay, ja. Yeah. Oh, there, on the right side, I think. Reception, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's put it here. Okay.